Hi, I'm Auden. Um, today I want to do an ambitious video called how to get started sewing leather handbags on a sewing machine in two weekends for under $500. And that's assuming you don't have a sewing machine or any gear. Um, it's doable. Uh, this is intended for people like me who um, had sewn a little bit on a domestic machine and then around November of um, 2020 and we're now in April. So not too many months ago, I decided to sew leather handbags. Um, so here we are. It was really confusing. I see a lot of confusion um, on online and I think it's a very accessible hobby um, and we can all do it. So here I am. Okay, step one is to order leather. This is a quick and dirty video. So I'm just gonna tell you for handbags, um, if you've been working with vinyl or cotton or, you know, okay, this is what you get. Two ounce chrome tanned upholstery leather in a soft temper. Um, places to get that are Hyde House in California. I'm in the US. Or I have ordered from Uncle George on Facebook. Um, I have gone as high as like, this is a three or four ounce from Uncle George that I'm not gonna skive. So skiving means to thin the edges and we'll get into that. Um, so ideally, we're gonna be paying around $3 per square foot because we're brand new at this hobby. So we don't wanna be spending a ton of money. Somebody got me on that. Um, my first leather I ever bought, first of all, was not real leather. And second of all, was over $10 per square foot for fake leather. So don't be like me. Order from somewhere reputable and don't spend a lot of money. So at Hyde House, if you're gonna do that, they have a really great clearance section. Um, so yeah. Okay, or you can go to a thrift store and buy, you know, leather jacket or something and repurpose it. I've never done it but I have seen people on Facebook do it. Okay, um, temper uh, refers to the stiffness of the leather. So leather is measured in ounces. Um, ounces is how thick it is, and temper is how stiff it is. So if this were a firm temper, it wouldn't flop as much. There are different firmnesses. And I'm not an expert, I just started. All right, so then next, we've ordered our leather, we're waiting for it to come in. We need to order bag liner. Um, a place to order bag liner is Fabric Wholesale Direct, and you can get Ottertex Waterproof Canvas. Oh yeah, so on the leather, you probably wanna order, I don't know, 15, 20 square feet. Um, not all the leather is going to be usable that you get. Uh, so yeah, uh, you probably want to order a yard and a half of Otter Tux, just to be safe. Um, here's the one that's backed. I have a video on this. Here's a sample of Otter Tux backed in PVC. Here's my new P polyurethane PU backed one that I'm excited about. Um, you need to find a sewing machine if you don't have one that can stand up to leather. So ideally, you wanna get an industrial walking foot sewing machine. The walking foot refers to the machine's gonna pull the fabric through from the top and the bottom, and it's just gonna make your life easier. Um, so you can find these secondhand on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, um, if you're lucky, like 
maybe you already have one in your garage. I don't know. Um, my machine is a Singer 111 W155. I paid $100 for it and I put a servo motor on it for $130. There is a really awesome Facebook group. Um, it is called Vintage Industrial Sewing Machines. They're really helpful. Um, leatherworker.net is a really good resource also. Um, if you can't find a vintage industrial sewing machine in your area, um, you can look for a 1591, a Singer 1591, or um, I also have a Singer 2012. The 2012 or the 1591 will probably do like three layers of leather um, comfortably, maybe like four. And so if you're working with two ounce chrome tan and you want to get started and you see one of those for a hundred bucks and it's running well, you're fine. You can do that. And, um, there are a lot of videos on the internet about finding those machines and they're out there. They're not precious machines. They made a lot of them. So, um, do not pay <laughs> a ton of money for a vintage singer, um, unless it's really rare. Uh, okay, so at some point you may run into wanting to interface or stabilize your bag. Um, I have stabilizers right here just to show you. Um, if you're just getting started, uh, sorry about the shaking. If you're just getting started with leather handbags, you probably don't need to order these right away. So this is Decaville Light, which is also Pelin 525. It has glue on one side and then it's kind of like papery. So basically what you do is you adhere it to the leather using an iron. Or in my case, I have this giant iron called a heat press. But anyways, so you could do it straight to the uh, leather or some people do it to the liner. You um, can't put it straight to Otter Tux because it'll melt. Um, anyways, okay, or you have Decaville Heavy. So this is something you'd use in the bottom of a bag. It's um, stiffer and same thing. It's got glue on one side and then not on the other. And let's see. Oh, if you wanna buy a brand new sewing machine, you can totally do that, but you will not be staying under $500 for this getting started. Um, Juki is really good. A lot of people, there's a Canadian company. Um, oh, I can't remember what, what it's called. Texo, that a lot of people order from. Um, I can nerd out about that. If you're gonna get a new machine though, get a cylinder arm, cause then you can um, put a flatbed adapter on it. So, okay. Um, other stuff. See, we're in other stuff already. So other stuff you need can be ordered from a website called waywack.com. Um, you need a cutting mat, a rotary cutter. Hold on, I have an example of rotary cutter. This is 28 millimeter. Um, it's Ulfa. I love Ulfa rotary cutters. Um, and that's for cutting your leather and your otter text. Uh, let's see, we've got a seam gauge. Cause if you get one of these older um, sewing machines, it doesn't have like a handy dandy uh, lines on the machine itself. So you need one of these to see what your seam allowance is gonna be. Um, this is a Tandy Leather branded uh, marking pen for the leather. Um, you're gonna need bobbins that match your machine. Your machine may or may not come with them. You're gonna need needles that go with your machine. Uh, these needles I got from Sunny Sewing in Dallas. They're a size 18 um, and the type is 135 by 17 or X17, uh, but that's just what goes with my machine. So it'll be dependent on what your machine is. Uh, leather tape is really handy for this process. It's just a double-sided tape that holds all your pieces together. You can use binder clips or clover clips are really nice to have. 
because you don't want to use pins and leather. Um, a seam brayer. I got this on Amazon. You like rolling pin down your seams. Super handy, actually. I enjoy it. That's probably like the least necessary thing on the list. Um, you need thread. So I've been using Tex 90 Poly from Sunny Sewing. Yeah, Tex 90 Poly. Um, yeah, it's been great. And where else? oh yeah, scissors. So you need scissors. Um, the, I use my fabric scissors on leather. Probably shouldn't do that. I don't know. Maybe you need leather scissors that you don't use on your fabric. So yeah, if you have never sewn anything before, that's all the stuff you're gonna need. Right, and then you wait a week. That's why it takes two weekends. So you order on one weekend, and then you wait a week. All your stuff comes in, or you're oiling your new to you sewing machine. And then your second weekend, you're sewing. Um, and I've got some videos on how to sew on your 111. There are tons of vintage sewing tutorials. Sorry, I don't know where to look. It's like, anyway. Um, and basically what I would suggest is find a tote bag tutorial. You want a lined bag. Like so many people start out and they just like leave their tote bags unlined. Like that's the, like what it is. Why not line your bag? Like just start there. It's going to be fine. Um, I really like Simply Classic is a really good channel for that. Um, I'm like a fangirl of Simply Classic. Miss Leather, um, is awesome. He has a, a Facebook group too, um, where he helps out a lot. Uh, and yeah, so I'm a beginner bag maker and a beginner leather worker. Um, but at this point, all I do is leather bags and I think... At last count, I was at like 15 leather bags now or something. So um, it's totally approachable and doable. And I believe in you. You can do it. I'm sure that I miss a lot of stuff. I highly recommend um, there's a craftsy class. I only saw like one on leather bags. And I joined craftsy for like $2.50, like $2.50. Um, and they covered a lot of this stuff. And that's where I heard about like leather tape and the seam brayer and stuff. So um, that was good. But if you don't want to join that class, uh, another really good YouTuber is Lauren Mormino. So between Lauren Mormino and Simply Classic, that should really uh, get all of us started. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And yeah, leather is something I really enjoy and we can all learn to sew with it.